Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing a reading for Scorpio. So today is the 14th of March, 2024. So just remember this is a Scorpio collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching the videos, when you're supposed to be receiving the messages. Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio, please, spirits. Messages for Scorpio. Thought I just saw gift. Messages for Scorpio, please, spirits. Messages. <laughs> I'll grab the ones that flipped first. So the first card of your reading, you've got Mature Woman. So just remember, Scorpio Tarot has no gender when we say women, men, this is energy. Then you have Courtship. So there could be someone you're connecting with. And then you've got main female. Okay, there's two energies, two feminine energies here. On the back of the deck, you've got house. So this could be to do with something in a house, in a relationship, because we've got the courtship here. Okay, Scorpio. You've got a mature woman though. So there is an older woman here. This could be a mother. This could be your mother. And then you've got a younger woman. So there could be two women in your energy. You could be one woman. There could be another woman. This could be same sex. You know, take what resonates for you, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like someone is waiting, someone's giving, okay? Messages for Scorpio. You have the Five of Swords. The Page of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. Death, your energy. I love the death card. The Fool. Death card is probably one of my favorite tarot cards. I love the rebirth. Of course you would. You, you are Scorpio. It is your card. You know, the snake, the phoenix rising from the ashes. Then you've got strength, the three of cups. And judgment. On the back of the deck, you have the four of cups and the ten of cups. Okay, you ready, Scorpio? You ready to do it? Ready to see what's in the energy? What's the five of swords for Scorpio? So you have the sun, the five of cups, the six of cups, the three of swords, and the queen of cups. So you could have been giving to somebody with the five of swords coming out. You or someone else broke this off, okay? So there's an ending, there's some type of heartbreak, there's X energy here, could have been with someone that has Leo in their chart, but I feel like you could have seen the light. Something came in, but you were giving to this energy with the Queen of Cups coming out. Um, this person could have broke it off with you. This is like behind your back. This person could be a soulmate, someone from your past or a past lifetime. This person could also be from your childhood. But there's like a loss about seeing the truth, sadness. Could have been conflict. You could have made someone walk away after finding out something. What's the page of, page of wands? What's the page of wands for Scorpio? 
So you have the Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. So you're starting something new. You could be focused on something in the material world with the Queen of Pentacles coming out. You could also be focused on children because she is the mother also. And then you've got the Hermit. So as I said, you are focused on a path. There's something that you're passionate about that you're taking a journey on. Something that you've just started. You know, you may have not only just started it, but this is something that is yours. I also feel like you are in this wounded warrior energy of the nine of wands while you move forwards. <clears throat> there was some type of snake in the row. This was some type of lesson that you needed to learn. Um, but I feel like you have flicked that snake out of the road and you are now moving forward. What's the eight of pentacles? Because there is work being done here. What is the eight of pentacles? The Empress, Taurus energy. So this is that thing that you're starting as a new beginning. You could be starting a new beginning with somebody in your life. You've got the King of Cups coming out. So water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know, you were coming out as the Queen of Cups, I feel, in that energy there. So that you could be working on something with someone that... I feel you're in a relationship we're married to. Um, there's a divine pair here. But I feel this person did manipulate the situation. I feel like there's no contact between you and this energy, but you're just, you're grounding yourself. You're starting new. You're holding back your emotions and <clears throat> getting into work. You know, you are really focused on something in the material world here, Scorpio. So there's that ending. But this is like, as I said, a rebirth. Um, the, I love the death card. It does remind me of like the phoenix rising, uh, the snake shedding its skin. Um, and that is you. And I feel like that's what you're doing right now. So for death, You've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Emperor, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. There's so many cards just, like, falling. As I said, this is a lesson. You've got the Hierophant coming out on the back of the deck, Taurus energy. But this is a rebirth of yourself. You were learning lessons with the Emperor coming out. This could have been with someone that was very egotistical, uh, someone that is, you know, make decisions based on ego, uh, someone that is very stubborn. Uh, this is a slow lesson that I feel you're learning. You eventually are letting go of this energy. You were looking at this situation with rose-colored glasses on. It could have also been something online, but there's no communication between you and this energy. You are moving forwards and, you know, you're taking the leap now to rebirth yourself after this. So what's the fool? What is the fool for Scorpio? So you have the Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands, it's action, movement. The Nine of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. So you're moving forwards on a passionate new beginning. So as I said, this could be with someone in your life. There is a pair coming out. There could also be, you know, if you don't have someone in your life, you could be starting a new beginning um, in the material world. But there's some type of healing of something that, you know, you've, I feel, leapt into, you know, something that's passionate. There could be a lot of movement forwards. It could be moving really fast which is leaving you in your head. You could be worried about this um, ending, things going wrong, because this is something that is very passionate, I feel. What's the Knight of Swords? What is the Knight of Swords? So you have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands 
and the three of wands. So I feel like even though you're moving in or on this new journey, you still have someone, maybe this past energy on your mind. This commitment could have been with a Taurus. Because while you move into this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning, you do have a burden. You're like expecting something. You're expecting someone to come back. Someone to come back and save the day. You know, the Knight of Swords, he's standing there sort of like a statue. He's not actually, they're not actually moving. They're sort of just posing. So there's a stop in that movement forwards in the clarity because you're like expecting, you're waiting. There's something you're still holding on to, I feel, Scorpio, while you move into this new beginning. Okay. So you have strength, three of cups, and judgment coming out now. So what is strength? So you have the devil. So as I said, there's this thing you're holding on to with that ten of wands while you move into a new beginning could be with someone that has leo or capricorn in their chart um there's like i feel a tether still holding you two together you've got the empress the tower and the four of wands so i feel like you just need to keep going because you know there is this new beginning this new beginning is leading to i feel a commitment this tower, I feel, happened for a reason. You've also got the Empress coming out. So this is like a new beginning, the birther of new ideas, this new idea, this new love is going to lead to more. And I feel like you do need to knock that tower down, knock it over. Because this cup that's coming in is full of love. There's something you're addicted to. Could be codependency with this person. But you're going to let go of it, I feel, in the future, Scorpio. There's something better out there for you. What's the Three of Cups? What is the Three of Cups? You've got the Nine of Cups. So there is a celebration taking place in the future. Something that you fought for. with that new beginning. Could be with someone that has air in their chart, but I feel like you've been through a lot. I feel like, you know, as I said, you're in this nine of wands energy at the beginning of the reading. Someone that, you know, is in wounded warrior energy, but you do have boundaries up. I also feel that there is going to be a celebration coming in towards you. Um, for fighting for what you want and for taking this new path, this new beginning. I feel like something's coming in that is going to make you very, very happy. Something that you fought for. You know, there's, there could be celebration with family, uh, loved ones that's going to happen. There could be an event, <clears throat> like a celebration for this thing coming in. So what is judgment? What's judgment? So you have the king of wands. The five of swords. And the six of wands. So the judgment is you're waking up to the call. Judgment, Scorpio energy, that is your card, Scorpio. No judgment, you know, they're waking up out of the coffins. And I feel like you are someone that's passionate. You follow your dreams. You follow what you want. You've got the King of Wands coming out. I feel like you're ready to make people walk away. Things that aren't... benefiting you in your life i feel like you're going to make the judgment call to make people walk away and this is going to lead you closer and closer to those to those finish lines to something in your life that you're going to get some kind of higher 
roll. There's like a, a level up for you. Once you let go, once you make that judgment call, but you know what you want. You don't want these negative things in your life and you're going to move forwards and it's leading you into success. I feel like you've wakened to the call, Scorpio. You're in your energy of the judgment card, um, listening to Divine's call, knowing that these negative things in your life don't need to be here and you're going to let go of it all. So for what you don't see... On the back of the deck, you've got the Four of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So what is the Four of Cups? So this reminds me of that judgment card a bit. Like you are waking up to the call. You see the cup, the cup that Divine's handing you. What's the Four of Cups? You got the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> so there's a collaboration of two people coming together could be same sex you're walking away from something something's going to be equal it could have been right in front of your nose that you didn't see but now you're realizing it you know you're coming together with someone you're working together with someone you're giving to the right people this person could be someone from your past this could be someone that you're married to they could have you know fire or air in their chart This person could have fire in their chart, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, someone that I feel is attractive, uh, someone that's a passionate person, someone that fights for them, they fight for their family, someone that's the peacemaker, uh, someone that's kind, warm, I also feel too. You may be a bit sharp, um, from the past that you've had, but now I feel like you're coming together with this person. Then you've got the Ten of Cups here. What is the Ten of Cups for Scorpio? You've got Strength. The Magician. And Justice. So this is your Karma. This is... The, this is for the lessons that you're learning. You will have happiness. I feel like you just need to let go of that of that line. I also feel with the magician coming out, Virgo energy, and then you've got Justice Libra. This person that's in your life could have those in their chart. They don't have to, but there's going to be comfortability, I feel, when you let go of something that you keep holding on to. I feel like there's going to be that equal, something that you've manifested is going to come. These people are sharing things together. It's reminding me of that court courtship. So this person is going to come in when you leave the past. So that is is i feel the message for you today scorpio we're gonna grab out now some it's about lessons and rewards we're gonna grab out a fortune telling card for you now one card for scorpio Happiness will be your portion and good cheer your prize. And a music message and then we'll do some angel numbers for you. <clears throat> so listen to this song when the reading is done. Also check out your angel number on Google. There will be a message for you in it. One card for Scorpio. Don't stop Fleetwood Mac. And we'll do an angel number. Angel numbers for Scorpio. So 6 plus 9 is 15. 
and five plus one is six so 15 and six are your angel numbers today i'm gonna leave it there scorpio thank you all for coming to my reading if this is your first time welcome just remember all my readings are timeless so if you ever want to check out my channel there is a playlist for scorpio i am also doing 11 percent off my personal readings at the moment uh, pisces season is nearly over so that discount will be over soon so if you would like 11 percent off the personal readings from me check out the link in the description below also write in the code word birthday and you will receive that 11 percent off um, but that's just for the Pisces season. Pisces season is nearly over. Um, but I thank you all for being here. I will be doing more and more readings for Scorpio. Make sure you check your sun, moon, rising and Venus. There will be messages for whatever video you decide to click on. But I love you guys. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.